The 24 hour time clock can show you when your um, event or when your records fall over the day and visualize it using a um, yeah, clock which helps you identify those sort of peak areas um, or peak times when it's occurring and the main benefit is that it can show you for two different um, data sets at the same time to see if they align with each other for example. So I'll just run it first for, I've got some um, collisions data from the UK, um, which I'll run it for. So for table one here, I'm gonna run it for the collisions first. So you check, um, select your from and two dates and from and two times, which I've only got one of each, I'll select it. And again, I can tick to use the aoristic method or not. So if it's aoristic, uh, where it's an unknown time, uh, it will spread out uh, a part of a score. So if it's falling over two hours, it'll add 0.5 to each hour because it's not sure when it occurred. If you don't use the aoristic method, um, that assumes that it's known that it happened during those times, then it'll add a score of one to each each one. So you wouldn't use an aoristic method if you're looking at police patrol times because it's not that we don't know when they're out there. Um, we do know that they're out there at that time. So for this one though, I am going to use the aoristic method uh, and just for now, I'm going to have no table two just to show you the output here. So you get this, you get this time clock um, where midnight is at the top. It's a 24 hour clock, not a 12 hour clock. Um, and so the time of day is around the edge there um, all the way up till 2300 or 11 p.m. and then it then it repeats. So for now I've just plotted one data set which is the UK collisions and it's sort of showing um, so overnight not many there which isn't that surprising and it's showing this peak here at 8 around 8 a.m. which um, is probably due to school drop-off time and when people are then trying to get to work. During the day it, it calms down and then it um, goes back up so three o'clock right when school's finishing up till six o'clock when work's finishing, um, you have this peak, and after that it drops off again. So in terms of when do the collisions happen, there's clearly a uh, morning peak, which is a, a smaller one, and then an afternoon or evening peak when those collisions occur. So this is one way of visualizing just that data, but we can also use it to compare. So I'm going to remake the data clock, which means I'll just close the existing um, so there's the original UK collisions and it's created two extra tables there. Back to the HS Gridder, I'm going to run the 24 hour time clock for UK collisions. And this time I'm going to add in a second one of traffic infringements. So basically when are police um, and camera operators out there um, giving out tickets? Are they targeting when the collisions are occurring? And that's the idea of enforcement, is to um, prevent collisions. It's not to give out tickets and make money, it's to try and reduce collisions there. So you would hope that they're out there at the right time. If they're out there when the collisions aren't occurring, um, giving out tickets to people who are driving when there's not as high risk of collisions, um, then it's maybe not as effective as it should be. So for the traffic infringements, um, again, I've just got a single date and time, and I'll use the aoristic method again, hit OK. And so here's when the infringements are being given. And this isn't real data, so don't read too much into it. Um, but what that's showing is that there's a peak also at 8 a.m. So they're out giving out lots of infringement notices at around 8 a.m., targeting that morning one, but not so much in the afternoon. Um, and there might be reasons for that. It might be just uh, that the, the police have more... Um, uh, time to be able to, to do that in the morning and in the afternoon they're dealing with other things. So it could be could be various reasons, but you might also want to go in and look at this and review and say, yeah, should we be putting more resources into this afternoon peak here? Because um, we're clearly not covering that. So that's the time clock um, with, it, again, its main benefit, being able to compare the, the times of two different data sets.